Thousands gathered in Haifa for the funeral of Nassim Sean Carmeli, an American killed while fighting for the Israeli military in the Gaza Strip. It has been a bloody two weeks in the region, and the calls for a truce are intensifying. A draft ceasefire resolution is circulating around the United Nations Security Council, and the U.S. and Egypt are also part of a high-level push to stop the fighting between Israel and Hamas militants. Secretary of State John Kerry met with Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi in Cairo as part of an effort to broker a ceasefire. It's also clear to me from each of the parties that I've met with that there is a framework available to end the violence. And that framework is the Egyptian initiative that has been put forward. UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon traveled to Israel to meet with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, who has said Hamas is responsible for using civilians for its cause. The international community must hold Hamas accountable for using Palestinian civilians as human shields, deliberately putting them in harm's way, deliberately keeping them in harm's way. In Gaza, dozens of journalists and residents evacuated a building where an Al Jazeera correspondent said it had been hit by Israeli gunfire. And in the West Bank, a funeral for a 21-year-old Palestinian man killed when a protest over Gaza led to violent clashes. Salim Asaid, Associated Press.